Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to fold this origami basilisk by Bodo Hag. It is version two. So I don't remember if version one has leg scales or not, but let's get started. This is the crease pattern, which you can find, I don't exactly know where, but <laughs> you can find it. It is, again, my bow and head. This it is, if you wanted to sort of test fold for it or test fold for Ryujin, this is one of a good one of those good models if you're looking for leg scales and stuff. Another good model is the Baby Ryujin by Daniel Brown. Really fun model. But this is the basilisk tutorial. So this is following the origami basilisk demo. So here we go. I'm going to be using a sheet of this medical paper that is spray painted one side red so that, and one side white so that you can see it better. The head does have a color change. So if you're using red and white or another color and white paper, then know that there is a color change on the head. So just know that the head will, if you're using duo paper, great. Just make sure you know that the mountain folds are on the edges. Pretty sure, yes. The mountain folds are on the edges because we're going to make a grid first. So we're going to start out by making a 36 by 36 box pleat. So let's start by folding in thirds. You can do the version where you make all the marks and stuff, but I'm just going to do it by lining the red edges. Yeah, just make pinch marks and then repeat on the other side. And now let's unfold and then we're going to make a valley fold where make sure it's color side up if you have colored paper. So we're going to make a valley fold along these valley pinch marks and then we're gonna reverse the pinch marks with that are mountains. If you did it this version. If you did it the version where you make all the marks, then then you should probably already be ready, but, or still make it. There we go, just crease this. Now unfold. And fold this edge up. You could fold it up to here, but I find the pinch marks a tad bit more reliable. Just reverse the pinch marks right here. Like 
unfold and now we are going to fold each of these units in half to make six. Do the same thing on this side. You have your own way of holding a 36 by 36 grid, then you can just do that. But this is how I did it for this one. Just make sure that. The way that I'm showing you will have the mountain folds on the edges. If you want the body to be colored and the head to be white or the reverse side of the paper, then you should do it this way or just make sure you have mountain folds on the edges. Now unfold. And fold just regular paper in half. You could you could just line up the edges, but again, I find it a tad bit more accurate if you line up the creases right in there. Rotate. Oh yes, the paper that I'm using is about 50 centimeters. I would not recommend going any smaller than 50 centimeters. Um, you could, but it, I just, many people probably have folded it from much smaller paper, but I think that 50 centimeters, get, it gets you this size. I just really feel like it's, a very good size. Now the scales on this one and probably on the one that I'm going to teach, they're running in a different direction, I think. I'm not positive, but the spines, it's running this direction instead of this direction. I think it looks cool this way, but it's um it's mostly collapsed from the crease pattern. But this is how I'm doing it with the scales in that direction. Now we're going to unfold the paper and turn it over. Now we're going to make a valley fold from this edge to this edge. make twelfths. This should give us an up down up down sort of thing. But that is actually don't make this as a valley fold. Because well when you turn it over if you had kept it on this side if it was a valley fold don't do that. Because when we fold it into thirds then this will be folded down and then fold it back up and it will be kept in the same up down position. So if you don't want to reverse any creases, this is the easiest way. Now we're gonna unfold and we're going to lift this mountain fold right here. And we're gonna lift it onto the next mountain fold. Right here, so just fold it up. 
And then you can fold up this paper and use this sharpie. Now we're gonna unfold. You could fold this edge to here and it should line up, but again, I think it's more fun and more accurate to do it this way. If you have a small paper, then it probably won't make a difference. I like having this size paper because I just think that 50 centimeters is good for this model. That's just my personal preference. Here we go. Now we're gonna unfold. We should now have heated like this. Now we're gonna rotate and do it on this side. So, now we fold it like this. When we get to the collapsing stage, I would really recommend to have the crease pattern handy because it helps a lot. This model was mostly collapsed from the crease pattern. What well, was, I just the scales and the spines. We're in a different direction. So now we're going to unfold and make this last. Now we can flip it back over and we should have this. It is in an up-down formation. You can feed it all together if you want to crease it sharply. This is the same paper that I used for this one. So if you were wondering what paper I did, but with that paper, with the one I used for that model, I used some spray that was like gold spray. And it, I did a few swatches of that. And then lightly sprayed the rest of it through. So now you can just crease these all together and face this side and So now we should have this. Now we're going to keep this side into thirds. So what I'm the e the easiest way I find to do this is first to go to this end and to line it up exactly as thirds.
So there we go. Just pleat it like this. Like that, and then line these up. Now do the same thing on the other side. Like this. Now we could fold it like this, but the middle tends to the crease tends to go a little lower. So what I like to do is do the same thing, but in the middle, and just pleat it into thirds. Back. Now we can connect this valley fold, this valley fold, and this valley fold in the line. and you can pull it a lot tighter because it's not as far of a distance. Now we're going to take this edge and fold it down. This, it should be exact thirds. Don't worry, we don't have to do that for every single one. This is just for the first one in each direction. And now, actually, you can unfold it. Yes. Which one? Yes, unfold this whole thing. Like this. Okay, now we're going to make this mountain fold and this valley fold and just pleat it down like this. And crease check. Now we're going to turn the paper over and we're going to make this amount and fold and fold it to this point, to this edge right here. Do the same thing on this side. over again and we're gonna start a cycle here we're gonna fold see how this is elevated like this we're gonna fold this edge over to this edge Well, no, don't unfold the whole thing. Just keep it like this. Just unfold this. Now we're going to take this mountain and fold and fold it down to here. Now we're going to turn it over 
and we now have the same setup that we had on the other side. So we can take this edge and fold it to here. And unfold. Now we can take this edge and fold it down to here. And if you do it right, each one of these should be exact curves. Now, once you've folded this edge here, you're going to turn it over. And you have the same setup again. So fold this edge to this edge and then fold this down. And just continue doing that throughout the whole thing. So now we should have something like this. Now we are just going to fold up two units and fold down one unit. Up two units, down one unit, and just pleat this into an accordion-like little fan. Should look just like this. So, this. Now we can crease right here. Each side. Now we can completely unfold smooth out the entire paper. And we should have something like this. So now we're gonna do the same thing in the other direction. So go ahead and do that. So now we should have this and just open this up. And we should now have a 36 by 36 box pleat grid in both directions. Well, yeah, just divided into 36 in both directions. If you're using 50 centimeter paper, squares should be about this big. I think it's a good size. So there we have it. That now we have now set up our 36 by 36 square grid. This is the end of part one. In part two, we, we will begin pre-creasing. I'm not actually going to pre-crease the scales. I'm going to do that when I make the scales. So. These, I'm just going to make these transition units all the way down, same on these, but everything else besides these creases, things like this, will be made when we fold, make folds like this in there on the official model. So I'm not gonna pre-crease through all those layers, but we can eliminate those, but I should hopefully be able to put that on in one tutorial. If not, it will be two parts and then we can start collapsing. So thank you so much for watching and see you in the next part.